name's Julie Derrick. I'm a cobbler, and I am about to refurbish a pair of heavily damaged Dr. Martin boots. The main issues with this pair of boots were the sole and the heel areas had worn through the tread, so they were getting really slippery. So with this particular pair of boots where the soles were coming apart, it just really gives us our, our opening. We're going to put them on our jack stand and carefully cut that sole away. With the Doc Martens, we can cut off the main body of the worn out part but then we have to use the belt sander to level it and make sure everything's the same thickness. We're gonna remove that interior foam padding and replace it because that material gets compressed over time and we want everything to be fresh. visible to the wearer, but they're going to feel so good with this little memory foam layer in there. We'll glue a midsole, it's also called a slip sole. You kind of hit it into place with your hammer. We'll trim it out along the edges so everything's matched up. And then we'll stitch that midsole layer on. So then once we get that done, we have made a stable base for the new outsoles. We use almost exclusively Vibram soles. It's one that we end up using a lot with the Dark Martens, actually, because it's kind of comparable in weight and density to what's, you know, what the wearer is used to. And then you press it with the machine that really solidifies that connection. Sometimes I think about like your boots being at a spa weekend. Just kind of solders any loose ends. And then I will dye our stitches so they're not visible and the original yellow Doc Martin stitches are all you see. Some people don't care if the white ones show, and I'm fine with that too. I can't overestimate the value of conditioning your uppers. It really will take them so far for you. You can over condition your boots if you're using a petroleum-based product. That will break down your leather over time. I always have to tell my customers that we're not manufacturers. You know, we're not makers, we're menders. Nobody's expecting their boots to look original. Things look cool, you know, things look good when they've been fixed and they're stronger and they're more unique.